Okay, today we have the guts of a coffee maker and how it works. So, I think we mostly know how a coffee maker goes. You, know, you take some water and you pour it in here. Bloop, 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 bloop. And, uh, and then, yeah, stick some coffee in the thing that gets moldy. And it all dribbles down out of down under somewhere into into thar. So I wanted to make a hot water heater and I found a coffee maker in the garbage. <laughs> anyway, so here's how it seems to work. So there's the water reservoir, right? And you can see a little hole down there. And so the water goes down out of here into where is it? Ugh. into here. It goes through a valve. Yeah. Through a valve. So water goes one way but not the other through this here valve. And so initially water will go down into this here aluminum tube. So it'll go through that valve into, into here. And then it goes down nit, 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 through this aluminum tube. And the aluminum tube is hooked up or in, in direct mechanical contact with uh, a heating element. So the heating element is here and here. So it runs around has a thermostat and is also the same heating element that keeps the uh, keeps the coffee pot warm like that. So it's all one heating element. Anyway, so water goes down there and it warms up and as it warms up it expands. It goes, wow, it's hot down here in this aluminum tube because heat transfers from the heating element into the aluminum tube. And the aluminum tube is um, has a thermal transfer goop. Uh, it's this really gooky white crud um, that bridges and makes thermal contact between the, uh, the heating element and the tube. Anyway, so water goes down there into the tube, says, oh my god, it's hot. I think I'm going to freak out so much I evaporate. And I'm going to expand when I evaporate. Except, whoop, I can't go back out this way. Can't go back out this way because there is a ball valve. A little red ball. In there. So I'm going I'm to push on the red ball and stop anything from going up this way, from whence I came, leaving the only route of escape. The only route of escape is through here. Well, through here, which is hooked up to here, okay, this tube, and through here, which is where Um, so down into the, the coffee grounds, here, you know, like, like that, and then down into the coffee pot. So that's that, that's how it works. So down from the water reservoir through a little hole, and then through a valve, gets hot through this tube, and then up, it's four steps through here, and then it goes blah 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 blah, and forces out all that hot water and steam through the hole there, until it's empty. And then, when it's empty, there's no pressure. So all this steam and hot water goes like blah, and then all of a sudden the pressure that forced all that out 
and drops because there's less stuff in here. And then when there's less stuff in here, all of a sudden the water can fall with gravity out of the reservoir through the ball valve into the hot tube and back out again. So that's why so that's the story of why coffee makers um, what, dump out little bits of water, little packets of water, they go like blah 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 and then they stop and then they go blah 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 again and then they stop and so that's what's going on in there valve, heating element and uh, this. So we have all the ingredients here for a little hot plate with a safety thermostat which is this thing here, I think. <laughs> Seems to be, because the input wire goes dip, 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 through this thing. That must be a thermostat. And then, nip, 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 into one end of the heating element here. And then the heating element comes back around out here, and then out the other wire. So that's handy. So you could just feed water through there by by any means necessary and get a nice hot water heater. And bonus, you get a switch that's good for probably about a thousand watts or so. How much? Really? I don't know, something like that. How many watts? Six hundred and twenty-five watts. I can't zoom in on it. Okay. Anyway, 625 watts through here. And with a little Nixie tube inside, I think that's what it's called, it will light up. And so you get a nice light up switch. And a suicide cable, <laughs> which is a cable with uh, some exposed. Uh, some exposed leads on the end. You can do whatever you want with. I think, strictly speaking, a suicide cable has alligator clips, but, you know, whatever. Yeah, so lots of fun stuff inside there. Who knows what I'll end up doing with it, but we'll see. <laughs> That's all for now.